It's March 23rd. It's a few days into spring. The sky is gray, but every few minutes a little bit of winter starts falling from the sky. Snow flurries today. I'm going to take a little walk, get some inspiration from my nature journal. Looking out at eye level, what's catching my eye, oh, there's a chickadee on the little habitat in front of me, just flew away. Those chickadees love those little habitats we made in the woods. Oh, what's catching my eye today is the bark on some of these trees. This is one of my favorite. This is the shag bark hickory. And look at this great texture on the tree. Might be fun to draw this in my journal today. I'm going to look down at the ground because if this is a shag bark hickory, there should be some hickory nuts or some shells of hickory nuts down here somewhere. There's one over there. It's a bit of an old hickory nut shell. That'll be great to put in the journal. Oh, there's another one. Looking out at eye level some more. Oh, there's a little tree over there. We're going to go over and check that little tree out. can hear the twigs and the leaves crunching under my feet as I walk. This is another one of my favorite trees, mussel wood. You have to look pretty closely. The tree trunk has striations in it, just like a mussel wood. So that's something else I could put in my journal today. Looking down, here's a little rock covered with moss, but also a little bit of partridge berry or twin berry, different names for it. The moss is kind of dry because it hasn't rained in a few days. There's no leaves on the trees to protect it from the sun, but it'll be okay once it starts to rain again. There comes some more, a couple drops of snow coming down now. Take another short walk. Not going to stay out too long today because it's a little bit cold. Just getting my inspiration for my daily nature journal. Here's where we had to cut down a tree dump. Some fungus growing on it. Oh look, when they cut down the tree, some of the lichen must have fallen out. Here's a really cool piece of lichen. And, oh, there's another one. It's a big one. Maybe I'll bring the lichen inside and look at it with my zoomy magnifier. That'll be fun. There's a twig with some lichen on it too. Alrighty, I'm gonna take some pictures of all my findings and go on site and write my nature journal.
Okay, you can see my messy space on my work table. I've got my nature journal, I've got my paint set, my pen, my lichen, my computer on the side, my little zoomy microscope. I sketched my musclewood tree and looked up a few notes about it since I'm inside and have access to the computer. It looks like muscle tissue because of the striations. I call it musclewood. It's uh, officially called the American hornbeam though. Here's my shagbark hickory. I looked that up and found out that the nuts are sweet and edible, but all I could find on the ground were the shells, and I know the squirrel's been eating them. My partridge berry, it's evergreen. In the spring it has flowers, and then it has a red berry fruit that lasts from the fall through the winter sometimes. I made a little note down here in the corner in the summertime to go back and look at the musclewood tree because the leaves are eaten by the I.O. moth caterpillar. So maybe I can find some caterpillars on that later on in the summer. At the top, I left two spaces. I'm going to be looking at my lichen under my little zoomy microscope, and I'm going to make two quick sketches here, and then I'm going to paint this. My journal page is complete for today, March 23rd. I have my metadata, my thought of the day. When I looked out, I noted some of my favorite tree trunks. One is this shaggy shagbark hickory tree. The other one was a smooth trunk of the musclewood tree. Took some notes on them. When I looked down, I found an evergreen partridge berry growing on a mossy rock. And when I looked at my lichen under the microscope, I did little sketches of them, put them in these circles like little call outs, which is where the spores are made. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It was very dry, but I think it's probably just a piece of the common um, green shield lichen. The other one was definitely some kind of beard lichen. Looked like a little tree under the microscope. I do have a book about lichens. Let me get it for you. Lichens of North America, Erwin Brodo. And this is one fantastic book about lichens. Beautiful pictures and descriptions. The only thing is there's so many different kinds of lichens and you really need to look at microscopic structures and even to tell some one from the other you need chemistry kit to do that. But I'm trying my best and at least if I can get a general idea of what they are I'm happy for now.
Thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye.